Yo, what is going on, part timers? Zach here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five gotcha games I played in 2021. So, this is going to be a personal list. So, if you agree or disagree, definitely let me know in the comments. But I do ask you guys to be respectful because it's just a personal opinion and it's just stuff that I personally played in 2021. So, if you don't see your favorite game on here, odds are I probably didn't play it. So, definitely let me know and let me know if you want me to play it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in at top five. So, coming in at number five is going to be Girl Cafe Gun. If you guys were early subscribers here, you guys know that this game really did help me jump into gotcha space and it really did help me put a foothold and what i wanted to do and determine what kind of content i wanted to make but besides that the gameplay was a lot of fun even with the chibi models too i felt like i had a really good feel to it and the team base was really fun building the teams getting a little bit different elements and i really think that the art did a really awesome job giving you a little bit more detail of the different characters and giving you a little bit more bond in this game i really feel like the interactivity with the different girls that you had was a lot of fun and i really feel like it jumped into just the stories about them and giving you a little bit more of like an interconnection between some of the characters that you were playing with unfortunately i wasn't able to jump into it too much because at this time alchemy stars was also coming out so they were kind of playing against each other and i went down alchemy stars because i just had a little bit more fun with it but let's go ahead and jump into number four that's going to be blue archive so the story is great in blue archive i do think that the auto mode is a little bit more redundant than a lot of people like but i do think it was a really cool side game a lot especially if you're playing you know other games or you're going through homework or you're just listening to tunes or whatever you didn't have to focus too much and it's always nice to have a game where you don't have to pay too much attention maybe you like to collect the different characters and you just want to go through it but i really think that i did a pretty good job giving you a, a bit of a story and just giving you some different elements and some different things with boss battles i think those are a lot of fun they did get a little weary when it came to team building because it really felt like you only had like two teams that you really had to build one for story and one for the different events and it didn't really seem like you were doing too much i know pvp is a little bit of a different story because you're able to build some different units based on what people are playing i personally don't really like pvp too much but i did jump in there a little bit to get a little bit of an experience and that was really fun to be able to kind of build teams around other people so i could see where the team building would be a little bit more fun i would just wish they would be able to incorporate it with the story and some of the different events but overall i think i got pretty burnt out when it came to the auto aspect to it and i still do play it as a side game but it would never be kind of a main game which is why i think it's going to be number four here so jumping into number three is going to be counter side so this is going to be an early game on the channel as well i think this is one of those things that i really enjoyed i think it was really free to play friendly unfortunately i kept getting the same character over and over and over again but there's a lot of different things you can do on this game there's a lot of team building there's pvp there's all kind of elements to it that you're able to jump through some of the different content some of the different elements and some of the different events and just have a different layer unleashed to you every single time that you unlock something it was just a lot of fun whenever you're going through like hey what team should i build why should i build this team and i just feel like overall i did a very very good job at the teams had a lot of fun characters i do think they looked a little bit generic in some cases but i did like the overall idea that you could have like tanks and do tower defense and all that kind of stuff so if you like tower defense I think this would be a really cool game for you and i feel like it goes pretty in depth for those who like tower defense kind of games but jumping into number two is going to be alchemy stars so this is a game that i absolutely love i think it really helped set the tone for the channel and i really think that it helped launch my channel overall i'm not even kidding there i think it had a lot of potential and it really helped me grow with the overall aspects of it but it was aside from my channel i think it did really well globally i think it was a really good idea for them to be able to launch it everywhere everybody was able to experience the same stuff you know choose whatever language you wanted to play in it i think it did a very very good job of just being able to be accessible to everything and everybody and everywhere i think it did a very good job at that the story was really good the overall art man this has to have some of the best art when it comes to characters and they're still doing it man like they're still having characters all the time and they always look better and better and better and the story elements look better and better and then the events are also really really good they do a very fantastic job of doing the different events i honestly got to say that this game is a very high contender of gotcha of the year if it wasn't for punishing gray raven this would probably be that fit for it but i think alchemy stars is a very special game and i think it'll continue to grow and i think it'll continue to be a very very good game even when it gets into it because they have fixed a lot of different issues they have been adding content like crazy and overall i just i cannot give it enough praise let's go ahead and talk about the next one it's going to be an honorable mention here it's going to be aether gazer now the reason i didn't want to put it in its own slot is mainly because it wasn't actually released i just played the beta for it so i wasn't able to grasp the full amount of what it had to offer i know that there's probably gonna be tons of different stuff to be able to go into once the game finally releases hopefully in 2022 we'll be able to jump back into it but i thought this game was an honorable mention because it has some of the cool elements to it dual alts this is something that you know what when i first experienced man i was like what the heck this is crazy that they're able to incorporate that awesome looks and feel i think that this game has a very high potential to be a very good game unfortunately right now we don't have a global release so i'm not necessarily sure what is going to go on with that but if it does release anytime soon and see and i think it's going to do a very good job and they're probably going to be pushing it to other regions so other than that i think that the units were really unique and the fact that they had team building was really cool as well there's a lot of different avenues that you could go into if you want to go do all if you want to have a lot of cool like elements to it you could do that you also could just make mono teams for different elements there was just a lot of fun and i feel like there's a lot of avenues so i can't wait for the release on this one so talking about our number one i know a lot of you guys are probably not going to be surprised here it's going to be punishing gray raven honestly this really helped shape the channel and i feel like it just propelled it 
even further than i could even imagine at this point i thank you guys so much for the community around this one but punishing gray raven is awesome alone for my channel it has awesome storytelling it has so many free to play aspects to it man there's so many different ways to get so many different units and so many different things and it always feels like you're just constantly building your account there always feels like you're building your teams your units it just always feels like you're doing something and the great thing is you have like 20 minutes a day you can log on you always feel like you're accomplishing something if you want to log on a little bit longer you can do that as well play a little bit of warzone i just really feel like this game just does the best of the best when it comes to respecting your time allowing you to build an account and just being free to play friendly it's like hey you want to play a game here's a game you want to play it for however long you want okay play it and plus the characters the small cast of characters i really feel like hit home because you're able to grow with them the story elements to it interlude all that kind of stuff it really does build up onto the main story and i feel like it gives you a little bit more of a connection with each one of the characters i personally love a little smaller of a cast and the world building overall it's just a lot of fun whenever you're going through some of the different stories as these events go unfolding a lot of you guys are probably seeing that the events are getting better and better at the storytelling and it gets a little bit better as it progresses and you start to see like where everything's going i can't praise this game enough i think it is one of the best gotchas that we've had in 2021 personal opinion obviously but i think that a lot of you guys would agree but anyway guys that is just my top five there with the honorable mention there aether gazer but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here have a good rest of your night guys peace